Zach's Rank Buys starts with a short-term buy or strong buy recommendation. And now, here are more Zach's Rank Buys. Let's talk about a couple of stocks growing aggressively now with Bill Wilton, our aggressive growth analyst for Zach's.com. Aggressive growth stocks, that is. Stocks like Cantel Medical Corporation, CMN, the ticker symbol, they're in the medical mm-hmm. product space. Yeah, what they do is they specialize in uh, infectious uh, or infection preventative products uh, and also containment products. So they make things like uh, surgical masks, uh, disposable items, Mm -hmm. um, and also uh, medicated wipes, things like that. They're actually also coming out with a a, a special mask that's specifically designed to fight uh, the H1N1 virus uh, and other um, flu-related viruses. Should be a big Uh, seller. Yeah, what it is, it actually has uh, a medical coating on the fabric that kills the virus whenever it comes into contact, uh, which is you know, going to be good for them. And since they operate globally, mm-hmm. uh, they should get a lot of business out of that. Yeah. Uh, recently, they reported their full year results uh, on October 9th. Uh, they had a fantastic year. Net income was up 65%. Earnings per share was at $0.94, cents, uh, and that's up from $0.53 cents last year, about an 80% increase. Uh, the estimates are climbing, and they're looking at about a 10% growth uh, this year, uh, or, or pardon me, next year, which they just started, um, and that's after a 4% increase in sales. So uh, things are going well for them. The other thing I like about them, they're trading at decent valuations. Uh, one share will cost you about 16 times forward earnings, uh, which you know, in, in this, you know, some might call it an inflated market. You know, that's a pretty good value. Everything's got, uh, we're starting to get to these higher valuations right now. So 16 times forward earnings is, uh, is a pretty solid deal. Right here you can see on the chart uh, the reaction that the market had once they did report those full year earnings. Um, it was, uh, you know, uh, quite a positive uh, response. Shares were climbing right into the uh, open on that day. They've trailed back a little bit with the overall market worries. You know, we're kind of picking which way we're going to go here uh, at the beginning of this earnings season. Um, so shares are kind of in flux right now, uh, but you can see they did get uh, quite a bit of a boost uh, prior and uh, from that earnings report. All right. And then another company that you've written about recently, RPM International, RPM, the ticker symbol, they provide industrial and consumer coatings and sealants, mm-hmm. but they have some brands that are probably pretty recognizable. Yeah, they've got several um, retail and con- or pardon me, retail and industrial brands. Uh, the most recognizable are on the retail side. They uh, they own the Rust-Oleum brand and DAP, um, you know, which uh, any weekend warrior has probably seen uh, in the hardware store. Mm-hmm. Uh, they just reported their first quarter earnings on October fifth. Uh, they saw a five percent jump in net income. Uh, earnings per share came in at 57 cents. Uh, that's a, a beat of 13 cents over the Zach's consensus estimate. Uh, so by no means was it a small, uh, small performance for them. Estimates are rising uh, and like the previous company that I talked about, they're trading at a good valuation as well, uh, right around the same PE. Uh, and they, they also have a nice uh, peg ratio, just a bit above 1.0, which uh, is the watermark for a fairly solid, or fairly uh, priced growth stock. Usually you're looking for about 1.0. That means you're getting the growth at a reasonable price. Um, The interesting story here though, after that earnings report, they saw a huge gap up in their uh, share price, but by the end of the day, it closed right back down to its previous levels. However, following that, it seems like investors really absorbed uh, what was in that earnings report and shares have regained you know, those uh, opening levels on the day of their earnings report. So that's always good to see. All right. Do you own either of these two? I do not. Check out more Zach's Rank Buy stock picks on our homepage at zax.com in the upper right-hand corner, where we update four new stock ideas for you, one in each of the investing categories that we write about daily. With Bill Wilton, I'm Terry Ruffalo.